are going to show you a daily life in Japan of people from overseas. What kind of room are they living? What's the rent? Why did they come to Japan? What surprised them in Japan? We are at essential places which they cannot miss while living in Japan. And ask them some questions which you may want to know. And yes, Ken is the interviewer. Let's go find out! Today we are with a man from Singapore living in central Tokyo. Good morning. Sorry to bother you from early in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome. Please come in. He's Romento, 45 years old. He's a photographer. He came to learn Japanese three months ago. Hi, Romo. Hello. Hello. essential places while living in Japan. The first place is his home. Let's start our room tour. Uh, uh, this is the kitchen area of the house I rent. So um, almost uh, every day after school, I will do my cooking here. After. How is your kitchen, Rolento? Uh, yes, for one person, I think it's uh, enough. Seems like he has all kinds of kitchen goods and utensils. Okay, so um, actually a lot of the plates was given to me by a Singapore friend. Next to the kitchen, there is... Uh, just enough storage for one person to live. This is a bathroom. I've, I've seen many houses and I think this is a very standard... You need to bathroom, isn't it? Yeah, so they'll have a bathtub and a toilet in the same place. And then, um, yeah, for one person, I think it's enough, yeah. Bathtub and toilet is compactly set in a small room. It is a typical system for a single residence room. But how was it in your country? Yeah, um, actually, my, my previous home in Shanghai is, um, is similar. But of course, this is the main area. Okay, please come, uh, this is the... Yeah. Hi, please come in. Hi. <laughs> right, so I, uh, I have my bed and then uh, this, this desk I bought in one of the online Japanese online store. So this I assembled myself and the bed I assembled my Actually everything assembled myself except the fridge. We asked him to show us yeah. the fridge. Oh, okay. the yeah. And, uh, yeah, and I, I also like the Japanese miso. So um, uh, the miso, I think, it is, um, when I eat this, it's like, I feel like I'm in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Eating local food also makes him feel that he's actually living in Japan. Washing machine is in the balcony. He reasonably got this second-hand washing machine. When I cut my own hair, I will sit outside here. <laughs> Nicely done, Rolento. <laughs> View from the balcony looks like this. What's the building in front? Yeah, this is a, I think it's a school. So well, when I rent the house, uh, I thought the railway will be noisy, but actually the railway is not so noisy. The school is more noisy. <laughs> Every day at 9 a.m., the children will wake me up. <laughs> you don't need any alarm clock here. We asked him about the rent. The, the space is about 15 square meters. So I rented this house because um, uh, I think it's a, it's a good house for first is students and second is um, uh, I don't have a, a definite income yet. So and I'm lucky that uh, the, the price is quite is quite reasonable. So it's near Yoyogi Uehara Station and then it's about uh, it's sixty seven thousand yen per month. So yeah, so for this location, I think it is a very value for money. It is in the central Tokyo and considering the size of the room, the rent sounds pretty reasonable. We asked him about his life in Japan after three months. Oh, so far it has been great. There are some uh, things that are different from what I expected. It's my first time renting the, the house in, in Japan and then um, there's this thing called key money and I think anybody who has never rented a house in Japan, I think you know you need to know the key money is like a, it's like a gift to the landlord. So um, um, when I move into this house, I need to pay one month deposit, one month rent, and one month of key money. So key money, you will never get it back. It's like a gift. It's like a thank you money for the landlord. 
How did you find this room? In, in Facebook, when I was asking about um, in, on a group, it's a Tokyo Expat Network. So I asked about uh, some simple question on the houses. And then all the agents will be there. And then once they, they found that someone is asking about houses, and then they will start to approach you. If you are looking for a house in Japan, try finding by using Facebook. Going out to another place you cannot miss in Japan. Essential place of Rolento number two. He already got used to complicated transportation of trains in the center of Tokyo. After taking train for five minutes, he's in Shibuya. Culture, shopping, business, sightseeing. It's the center of everything. One of Rolento's essential places is in this town. It's the famous Shibuya Crossing. 500,000 people cross over this crossing every day. It's the place where it symbolizes Shibuya. Why did he choose this place? Um, so during my first, first uh, visit to Japan uh, many years ago, uh, I think it's the first time that I see a crossing where uh, people from all directions can cross at the same time. Of course, there are now many... Walking for five minutes from Rolento's favorite place, the next essential place of Rolento is. Uh, no, uh, uh, Japanese language, language school. Yeah. Yes, it's his Japanese language school. It's in the building in between Shibuya and Harajuku. Rolento goes to ISI Japanese language school. He introduced his uh, school. There, there are about six classrooms. Uh, so, uh, usually, uh, this is an empty classroom, so we can go in and take a look. Yeah. So, usually, uh, usually we'll sit here, and then the teacher will stand here. And then uh, when, there is, uh, when there is a student that is uh, doing uh, online class, then our classmate will be shown here. You could take classes online from your home country, too. There are many students studying at the open area. So this is the counter for the school. And uh, the, the teachers have been very, very helpful. So when I first arrived, uh, I actually talked a lot to the counter because they, they will uh, settle our visa, <laughs> our Zaidu uh, card, and you know, many things that help us to settle. Teachers and staffs help the students with not only the language study, but also with their life in Japan. There are many books in Japanese. There are mangas too. There are picture books which you could read in easy Japanese. We asked Rolando's teacher, Miss Aoki. Aoki Sensei. Konnichiwa. Which countries are the students from? いや、もう本当に学校全体で30カ国ぐらいいて、クラス内でも韓国とか中国、アジア圏、フィリピンとかもいますし、台湾もいますし、欧米だとイギリス人、コロンビア人とか、あとはフランス人、うーん、もう本
We asked her to give advice to those who are willing to learn Japanese. そうですねあのまずはこうどうして日本に来たいのか日本で何をしたいのか自分が持っているスキルをどう生かしたいのかっていうそこの強い思いをこう大切にしてほしいなっていうふうに思いますあの日本に来てやりたいことがあるのであれば私たちは本当にあの一生懸命サポートするのでぜひあの日本で就職したい日本で夢を叶えたいっていう希望があればぜひ開催に来ていただいてここで一緒に勉強したいなと思います。We asked Rolento about his Japanese language study environment. And actually, in Singapore, I already, I already took some、uh, Japanese language course, but、um, uh, I don't think I had the environment in Singapore to study Japanese、uh, properly because、uh, after the class, I have no one to speak to Japanese too. But now in Japan, I think it's a good environment. So when I go out, I have to do everything in Japanese. So I think it helps a lot to improve my Japanese. Many people say the fastest way is to have a Japanese girlfriend. But、um, so, if you don't have a Japanese girlfriend or boyfriend, I think having a Japanese,、uh, all Japanese environment helps a lot.、Yeah. The next essential place is somewhere you cannot miss if you are living in Japan supermarket. It's called OK Store. How is supermarket in Japan different from other countries? I think the, the one thing that I find about Japanese supermarket is there are many different varieties and there are many seafood. So, if compared to Singapore,、uh, I think the seafood in Japan supermarket is much, much more fresh and the variety is much more.、Right. How is the pricing in Japan?、Uh, the price,、uh, it really depends on which, which supermarket you go to. So, OK Store is、uh, the one that I've been to, the, the various supermarket that I've been to so far, that、uh, I think is the cheapest, the most value for money. And I'm glad there's one near my home. Two liters is、uh, 77 yen, that's really less than one dollar. And then if you buy six at the same time, it's,、uh, maybe it's even cheaper than your tap water. But、um, I don't have a car, so I will just buy one for the car. He was surprised about this product from the supermarket. For example, for OK Store, there's one thing I think I, 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 couldn't see, I didn't see in Singapore supermarket and China supermarket is the tofu. They, they make the tofu into、uh, small packs where that,、uh, that is very obviously is enough for one, one meal. So in, in Singapore or in China,、uh, maybe the tofu is of a bigger pack. Supermarket in Japan, they know that a lot of、uh, people are living alone. So they make the smaller pack so that you know it's one person, one meal. Seems like Rowento is enjoying his life in Japan through experiencing real Japanese culture and lifestyles. The next place Rowento took us is Tsukiji. Tsukiji was famous for its huge fish market before it moved to another place. There are still many restaurants where you can enjoy fresh seafood. This square in Tsukiji is another essential place for Rolento. Rolento enjoys playing basketball with his friends in this basketball court every weekend. It's a little break from his study. <laughs> friends are important when living overseas just by yourself. How does he find his friends?、Um, I think mostly it's、uh, Facebook. Or、uh, friends of friends who、uh, I, uh, I met in Shanghai. Before Corona, I went to the、uh, meetups. So, meetups are、uh, meetup.com, they have many、uh, events for foreigners and Japanese to, to do language exchange. Uh, uh, meetup, meetup is actually very popular in Japan. With social media and latest apps, it might not be difficult to find friends in new countries. And he has Japanese friends too. He came to Nakameguro. It is five minutes by train from Shibuya. There is a Japanese friend who he meets every week.、Uh, this is my friend Yuniko Rone. So she's a singer and songwriter that I've known for two to three years. She's one of my good friends in Japan and she actually helped me to write a song for one of my projects. I will come to Nakameguro to watch、uh, her doing. A live show for her work at、uh, the MDP gallery. He met Yuniko through some work. He 
enjoys watching Yuniko's live streaming show at studio in Nakameguro. As a photographer himself, artist Yuniko gives him inspirations about his next creation. We asked her about Rolando's life in Japan. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ